I'm Philip Nelson with GeekBeat TV, and I'm getting ready to show you one box that will rule them all. All right, I am a geeky, gigging musician, and there's no shortage of boxes, devices, cables, and other assorted madness I want to bring with me everywhere I go. Unfortunately, you can only have two bags on Southwest and one on most airlines, so you have to pare down what you carry with you. And I have discovered a really awesome device. It's the IK Multimedia iRig Pro. It retails for around $150 and includes all the necessary cables to connect it to your computer or your mobile device, lightning, 30 pin, and USB. One of the things that makes the iRig Pro really cool to me is it's not only a guitar interface, but it's also a mic interface and a MIDI interface. As I said, one box to rule them all. It has a balanced input for mic, unbalanced input for line level, high Z source via quarter inch XLR combo jack connector. It has preamp gain control, and it has a really high quality mic and instrument preamp with low noise, high definition. Also, it has MIDI in, and it has a 48 volt phantom power that's powered by a nine volt battery. It's actually very sturdy. It's got like a rubberized case and it's very, very easy to hook up, use, and carry around. So let's take a listen. One of the things that I will ding the iRig Pro for, and I don't blame them, but it does have custom cables. So using this multi-pin connector, I'm going to plug in the lightning cable and then plug it into my iPad mini. So I'm going to plug my guitar into the combo jack, which will now give me live input of my guitar. So you can see as we start playing, we can adjust the gain. And you'll see there's an LED on the iRig telling you if you're peaking. So it's kind of nice that, because when you're playing, you don't want to be watching your GarageBand interface. So we can set our volume. So now let's lay down a, a, a guitar track. Okay, so now that we have the guitar track, um, just so you know how we're hooked up, normally I would have my headphones plugged into this headphone jack and I would be monitoring what I'm doing. But for your benefit, we actually have the output of the iPad going to my good friend Dave Curley's camera so that you can monitor everything that we do. So let's run into GarageBand and take a listen to what we just recorded. And now I'm going to put away my trusty Taylor guitar and we're going to plug in a microphone. So using the same iRig Pro, I unplug my guitar and I plug in my microphone. Now if, if I had a condenser mic, I could turn on phantom power and you can see with the red LED that phantom power is on or off. And let's go add another track. So now I've added another music track and I'm going to go back and let's record a vocal track. For the benefit of this review, and I do need to be able to hear it, I'm just, I've unplugged the feed to Dave Curley and I'm just going to go ahead and record a little vocals here. So let's go back to the beginning of the song. First thing I remember knowing is that lonesome whistle blowing the youngin's dreams of growing up to ride. All right, we've just finished recording a rough audio track. Let's see how it sounds. So we're gonna jump over here into GarageBand, um, go back to the beginning, and let's take a listen. First thing I remember knowing, that lonesome whistle blowing, youngin's dreams of growing up to ride. 
So we've laid down a scratch guitar track, a vocal track, and if we wanted to, because the iRig Pro does support MIDI, we could add in MIDI devices and do full recording from almost anywhere. Under $150 retail, it's a tiny, portable, high-quality device that can make you sound like a rock star. If you like this review, give us a thumbs up. If you have some products you'd like to see me review, tweet me, at Philip Nelson with one L, and we'll catch you next time here on Geek Beat TV for more music product reviews.